Today we're going to talk about the one thing that if you lose this thing, oh my God, it's going to be very hard to regain this thing. My name is Michael Barai, and I was able to build a team of 150 plus sales guys in less than two and a half years. We did that with zero money invested, and now we have a growing company that's growing from coast to coast like butter on toast. So one of the things that I learned is if you lose this one thing, <laughs> it's the hardest thing to regain. And that word is momentum. Not your spouse, not trust, not anything like that. Momentum is the hardest thing on the planet to regain. For example, you go to the gym for a month, you go to the gym for two months, six months, all of a sudden, you go on vacation. You go on vacation for two weeks, you start eating bullshit, you stop going to the gym, you stop sleeping right, and now you, gotta, you come back from the vacation, and now you have to regain all that momentum that you actually just lost in the past couple of months. And a lot of people have a hard time with getting back into the flow of momentum. And the reason why it's so hard to regain momentum is because your body is, your body is always looking for ways to adapt. Your body and your mind is always looking for ways to be comfortable and kind of flow. Your body does not want to work. Your mind does not want to work. The reason why is because our body is made up of water. And water likes to travel in the path of least resistance, right? And your mind is always looking for ways to automate everything. It wants to automate you walking to work. It wants to automate you getting into the car. It wants you to automate doing your job. It wants you to automate everything. So you can be focused on more important stuff, right? Because it's always based on survival. It's always like survive, survive, survive. So what happens is when you lose momentum, you created a brand new habit. That brand new habit of not eating healthy, not going to the gym. Now your mind is getting used to that and creating that uh, uh, autonomy so you don't have to freaking be comfortable. Momentum is the hardest thing to regain. Momentum is the most difficult thing to regain. Once you have momentum, my opinion, if you have momentum, cherish it, protect it, love it, kiss it, bathe with it, hone it, do not let go of it. Always try to be as consistent as possible. If you want to be, for example, I started Muay Thai not too long ago, and I, I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm the kind of person I'm afraid to commit because I know myself. Once I commit, that's it, game over. I'm all in. If I'm all in, you're never stopping me from that freaking transaction or that activity. Why is that? Because I understand that momentum is my best friend. So if I'm going to go twice a week, and then I'm going to start going three times a week, it's hard to go back to two because I already made a commitment to do three, right? So it's very, very important. If, when you have momentum, protect it, cherish it. Now, what a lot of people do when they have momentum, they do this. Take the pedal off the fucking metal. Stupidest thing you, you could possibly do because the hardest thing to regain is what? Momentum. What you want to do when you have momentum is pour gasoline on that flame. You want to keep pushing the gas. Keep pushing. You don't know when this opportunity is going to come again. I always tell my guys, you never know when this business will go boop and you lost all the opportunity to make a lot of money. These guys are making a shit ton of money. Some of them are making 2000 3000 4000 5 There's a lot of fucking money they're making on a weekly basis. And I'm like, dude, milk the cow. You never know when that cow's going to die or when that cow's going to be dry. Milk that freaking cow. Squeeze those titties off that milk. Never stop. Keep going. Every single day you go out to, to the field, be hungry. Every day, treat it like you're never going to have this opportunity ever again. And when you treat momentum like that and you protect it, what ends up happening is you have a compound effect of your growth. And that's how we were able to grow our company in less than two and a half years to 150 plus people. Why? Because, because it was so simple. I poured gasoline in that fire. In my mind, I didn't, rest on my, I didn't rest on my laurels. In my mind, I didn't read my press clippings. In my mind, I was not happy and not satisfied that I, everything's going to be okay. I was like, no, we got to keep pushing. We got to keep pushing. We got to keep pushing. And by the way, guess what? When the pandemic happened or pandemic happened, shit hit the fan. Thank God I was prepared before that. Well, otherwise, we would have been screwed. We had enough money to kind of hold ourselves down for a couple of years. But just imagine if I didn't pour the gas on that freaking fire. Most people don't value momentum. They think it's always going to be there. Momentum is not always going to be there for you. Protect it. Take care of it. Cherish it. Value it. Utilize it. But do not depend on it. Keep pouring gas on that fire so you can see your business grow, see your family grow, see all the things you're actually pushing grow to the next level. So I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. If you love this kind of content... Do me a favor, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you guys in the next video.